If you are working with gameplay tags in your Unreal Engine project, you will find gameplay tag queries incredibly useful, especially when performing multiple checks on a gameplay tags container. To use a gameplay tag query, we start by creating a new property of this type. Once you have compiled the blueprint, you will be able to configure its initial values. In the user description field, you can provide a short explanation of what the query is meant to evaluate. This is helpful for organizing and understanding your queries later. But the most important part is the root expression field. Clicking on this will give you various options to define the behavior of the query. Let's go over these. First, we have the basic root expressions. All tags match, any tags match, no tags match. These options work similar to has any tags or has all tags functions of a gameplay tags container. For those functions, you would have to provide a second container for the evaluation process. But now, if we for example select the all tags match option, you can see that you can select a number of tags directly in the query object. And then the query evaluates in this case if a container includes all of the specified tags. For the any tags match option, the query evaluates if a container includes at least one of the specified tags. And for the no tags match option, the query evaluates if a container does not contain any of the specified tags. And in the blueprint, you can use a query by using the does container match tag query function. Here, you first have to provide the tag container you want to evaluate, and then the query that evaluates the container based on its conditions. The real power of gameplay tag queries lies in their ability to combine multiple checks. This makes it easier to handle complex tag conditions without cluttering your blueprints. And for that, we have three options. First, we have the all expressions match option. This acts like an end operator, meaning that all conditions must be true for the query to pass. So here in this example, we combine an all text match and a no text match operation. And in this case, the evaluation would be successful if the container includes the fire attribute, but not the poison attribute. Then we also have the any expressions match option. This acts like an or operator. So at least one condition must be true for the query to pass. So in this example, the evaluation would be successful if the container includes the fire attribute or does not include the poison attribute. And lastly, we have the no expressions match option. This evaluates if none of the provided sub-expressions are met. So in this example, the evaluation would result in false if our container includes the fire attribute or does not include the poison attribute. With that, you should be ready to utilize gameplay tech queries in your Unreal Engine projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Unreal Engine tips and tricks. And with that, see you next time.